this is Raga. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video. So I got this question um, quite a few times, both on YouTube and as well through email, where some of you have asked me, what do you do to stay motivated and keep going? So um, I'm assuming that you guys are asking me this with regards to being a medical student or even a doctor, because obviously both in both these situations, you do deal with stress and there are a lot of times where you don't feel as motivated as you would like to. And I feel this is a very important question because even myself, uh, when I was in medical school, there were several uh, moments or situations where I felt so down and I was not feeling motivated at all. And that was a big problem because when you have so much to study and you constantly have exam after exam, motivation is what keeps you going and makes you continue to do well and try to focus on your studies and try to do your best in the exams and when you don't even have that motivation it can be quite difficult for a medical student or even a doctor so there are a few things that i used to do when i was in medical school and i still do some of them today when i am stressed and i feel like i'm not motivated and these are just small things that i used to do to keep myself motivated and um, keep myself going so the first thing is, um, when I was in medical school and even today, I always set short-term goals. When I say short-term goal, I mean uh, a goal that is in the near future and very uh, quickly attainable, rather than a long-term goal that will take years to achieve, uh, because I feel that that would make me more driven and more uh, passionate about achieving that short-term goal rather than talking about years down the line. So for example, if you're a third-year medical student, don't keep your next goal as I want to be an um, uh, upper GI surgeon. So you're thinking about fellowship, which is way in the future, so many years down the line. So that is a long-term goal. And I feel if you have such a long-term goal, you will not be as driven and as motivated to achieve that because in your mind you know that that is way in the future and there's a long way to go for that and you won't be uh, able to stay focused. However, if you're a third year medical student and your next goal that you've set in your mind is I need to ace my third year uh, end of year exams, that is now a goal that you know is going to happen very soon and something that you can achieve in the near future and for that reason you'll be very motivated and driven to achieve that because you know that's going to happen very soon and that's what i have always done and that's even what i do today i think of the very near future and i set my goals very close to where i am today and in the end when you keep achieving these um, short-term goals one after the other then you will reach your final end goal or your uh, final dream which is to be whatever kind of doctor surgeon whatever is on your mind that was one of the ways that i um, kept myself motivated and driven the second way that i kept myself uh, upbeat and motivated was my family now family plays a very very important role for you when especially when you're in medical school or uh, a very stressful career it's very important to have your family support i'm very glad that i had and i still have a very supportive uh, family that has always been behind me 100 uh, percent with everything that i've done and even when i was in medical school and there were times where i was so um down and i didn't feel that motivation and i was looking for that kind of motivation or i was upset about something that made me sort of depressed in a way I would just give my family a call, whether it was my sister who I'm very close to or one of my parents and just talk to them and they always had something to say to me that made me take my mind off whatever I was worrying about or upset about and make me look at the end uh, picture and uh, make me, remind me about what I'm doing this for and what the benefits are gonna be. And that really helped me. The third way that you can de-stress and try to stay motivated in the way is to pick up a hobby that you may have not been able to do when you're in medical school or as a doctor. So for example, when I was uh, preparing for my final MD exams, I remember I was about five days away from my exam and I was so stressed and I felt like I was so stressed and wound up that I could not even concentrate on what I was studying. I was not able to get in the information because I was just so worked up. And I knew that I had to do something to take my mind off of 
um, the stress and the studies for just a little bit and do something fun before I get back to studying because I knew that was not effective studying. So what I did was I took up a hobby that I had stopped doing for some reason since grade school, which was drawing, just normal pencil drawings that I used to do in grade school. And I picked that up and I, I picked up a canvas and a pencil and I started drawing a portrait of um, a random child. And I really, I took about one hour uh, to do finish the whole portrait and I was so de-stressed by the end of it and I was so happy and I felt like I am pumped and ready to continue with my studying. And I realized that that was a great way for me to de-stress. Now, it does not have to be drawing for you guys. It can be anything that you guys like. It can be a sport, it can be playing an instrument, it can be whatever you guys fancy or whatever you guys find um, uh, similar to a hobby or something that you just enjoy doing. And that really helped me and I'm sure it will help you as well when you're really uh, close to exams and um, you find yourself really stressed and you just need to take your mind off it to stay motivated and stay driven. Another way uh, which might seem like a very silly way that I dealt with my stress to stay uh, on track and stay um, stress-free was I used to play with my Rubik's Cube. Now I don't have my Rubik's Cube next to me right now but I have a Rubik's Cube which I kind of learned to solve um, I think about five six years ago and I feel that it was such a good um, exercise for my mind that I felt once I was done playing with the Rubik's Cube for a while I would feel much more relaxed and much more ready to study or do anything that seemed stressful at the time. So I'm not saying that you guys have to go learn to solve the Rubik's Cube. You don't even need to know how to play the Rubik's Cube, but you can just try it out to see how trying to think about how to solve the Rubik's Cube itself is a very big stress reliever and it just makes you feel um, less stressed and more on track. Another thing that uh, helped me de-stress and unwind was music. Music was and still is a very important component of my life and when I was in medical school and I felt like I was so stressed, sometimes listening to music for some time would just help me relax and focus on nothing but the music that I'm listening to so that I can later better focus on my studies and have a clear mind when I get back to uh, preparing for my exams, for example. There were many of my friends who had the very uh, amazing ability to listen to music as they were studying. That was something that I was so envious about because I was just not able to ever do that. I could not study, concentrate on my work if I was listening to music at the same time because that would just simply distract me. So I don't know if any of you have the same thing where you just need music or headphones in your ears when you're studying, but that was just something that I just couldn't do. I tried, but I just, that wasn't my thing. But I did listen to music a lot every single day before going to bed usually or in the mornings when I was getting ready for um, my classes. That's when I used to keep, take the time to listen to some uh, great music, which was my favorite music. And that really uh, helped me. The last and the final way with which I really uh, tried to stay motivated was YouTube videos. Now, I know at that time, obviously, I hadn't started making videos yet, but I used to go on YouTube and try to find videos similar to this um, about other medical students or other doctors who were talking about how stressed they were or still are and how they try to cope with it and how they try to still move on. And that used to give me a sense of relief not just because I used to get tips on how to uh, deal with this kind of stress and stay motivated, but I also used to realize that I'm not the only one facing these hurdles uh, in this field and that there are many other medical students and doctors out there who are facing the same exact thing that I'm facing. And moreover, when you hear success stories like that where they talk about 
um, going through such horrible times but still reaching a very successful um, point in their lives, that really motivates you and uh, pushes you forward because you know that there is light at the end of the tunnel. These were just some of my uh, small ways by which I used to uh, try to de-stress and unwind and try to stay motivated and on track both during medical school and even today uh, after I've graduated and I hope that you guys can relate to some of these and maybe some of my uh, methods will also help you guys to deal with stress and stay motivated. Um, please continue giving me your suggestions for future videos. I love reading your suggestions and I will definitely work on them and try to film videos and upload them. And until I see you guys next time, bye!